hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make this bold dramatic sleeve so if that is something you're interested in learning do keep on watching so i have my main fabric and this collar stay here this is a really really thick collar stay as you can see so this will be attached to the bottom of the sleeve or the bottom part of the sleeve okay so i went ahead to sketch out the design so you can see that it's baggy at the top and kind of fitted at the bottom end okay i'm you just want to measure the length of the sleeve okay so my length is 26 inches the length of the sleeve is 26 inches do know that that is not my actual sleeve length my actual sleeve length is 24 inches but i increased it by two inches just so when i put it on it will have that baggy effect at the end of that you know that guard that gather effect at the end or at the beginning of that fitted part of the sleeve okay so my original sleeve length is 24 but i'll be working with 26 and that would help me create those ruffles or those excess puffiness at the upper part of the sleeve you can do anything from two inches to five inches depending on how full or how you want that top part to fall on but i worked with two inches so feel free to use anything from two to five inches so next i went ahead to measure the length of the sleeve that i want so from that shoulder or from that armhole to the end of that puffy sleeve that puffy part of the sleeve is 18 inches long and that is what i want for the sleeve so from that puffy end to the other puffy end is 18 inches while that fitted part of the sleeve would be 8 inches long would which will give me a total of 26 inches for the total length of the sleeve okay so the top part of the sleeve is 18 inches long while the lower part is 8 inches long okay so now that we have done that the next step is to figure out how much fabric will be needing to cut out that puffy part of the sleeve and you just want to figure out or know you how much fabric you need so just so you don't end up wasting or cutting it too little okay so my arm circumference is 13 inches around that upper part of my arm the circumference is 13 inches but i can't use 13 inches because i want it to have full puffy effect okay so what i'm going to do i'll be using two times my normal sleeve circumference which is 26 inches and that would help me create that big full voluminous sleeve at the top so i'll be using 26 inches for the sleeve circumference and that is what i'll be using for that puffy part of the sleeve so the width of that puffy part now would be 26 inches wide all right and that would help me create that baggy effect you can do anything you can triple it you can make it four times the normal sleeve just know that the more or the wider it is the more voluminous and the bigger that upper part would be okay so we already know that that upper that upper part is 26 inches wide and 18 inches long okay so next we'll be figuring out how wide or how long we want that lower part of the sleeve that fitted part of the sleeve to be and to do this you are basically just going to measure around your arm around the lower part of your arm basically where that band starts and where the band ends so you're going to measure the upper part where the band starts which is this top here and the lower part which is around the wrist around the wrist where the band or that fitted part would end so you're just going to measure around it and mine is 11 inches around that upper part where the band starts from or where the fitted sleeve starts from is 11 inches while around my wrist is 9 inches wide so having figured out how wide or how and how long we want each layer of the sleeve to be, the next step is to impute this measurement on the fabric and cut this out on the actual fabric, okay? So I'll be starting with that big part or that puffy part of the sleeve because it has more fabric and it's easier to do. So this is the fabric folded into two 
and since the fabric is folded into two i will not be cutting an entire 26 inches since it's folded into half i'll be dividing 26 inches by two which is 13 inches so since it's on fold i'll be cutting 13 inches and when i open it up eventually i have the whole 26 inches so i have marked out the 13 inches on that side of the of the fabric so next i'll be marking out the length of the fabric so the length of this fabric is 18 inches or so the length of the sleeve is 18 inches but i'll be using 19 inches because i'll be using half inch to attach the sleeve to the armhole and the other half inch to attach the puffy part of the sleeve to that lower part of the sleeve so i'll be marking out 19 inches for the length so i'm just going to go do that and show you guys so at this point i've marked out the length as well as the width of the sleeve so i'm just going to create that armhole slope or that armhole curve yeah armhole curve using my free hand i'm not using any pattern or anything major just my free hand so i'm just going to free hand or free yeah i'm just going to do that with my free hand and this is what it looks like i am just going to cut it out and show you guys what it looks like okay so I'm just going to cut it out and this is what it looks like. I'll be cutting two of these, one for the left sleeve and the other for the right sleeve, okay? So having done that or having cut out the sleeve or show you guys how to cut the sleeve, I'll be moving over to the band and showing you guys how to make the band or the lower part of the sleeve. So for this lower part, do note that that part of that, the top of that lower part would be attached to that puffy part of the sleeve while the lower or the wrist part is 9 inches and the top part is 11 inches wide so what i'll be doing i'm cutting four of these because i'll be using it to turn the end of the i'll be paying them together i'll be cutting four of these and i'll be paying them and i'll make two pairs of each so i'm just going to cut that out and show you guys what it looks like after cutting so having cut all four pieces together or four pieces rather this is what it looks like and see i went ahead to pair them wrong sides facing so i'm just going to sew each pair wrong sides facing or on the wrong side along that part that goes to the wrist along that part of the sleeve that would be on the wrist so that is what it looks like after it's done so i'm doing the same thing on both sleeves so that part that is stitched or that part that was just stitched would be on the lower part or the wrist part of the sleeve okay so next i'm just going to place the the band or the lower part the part that fitted part of the sleeve right onto the gum stay or the collar stay rather and iron it out on one side not on both sides you know we have two pieces for each sleeve so i'll be ironing that on one side okay so when an iron is out this is what it looks like and see it's on one side only for each pair i'll be doing this on one side okay so i'm just going to like i'm just going to sandwich or close up that um gum stay in between the two parts of each pair and so from the sides all the way to the top and down the other side okay so I haven't done that this is what it looks like it's really thick because of the color stay that color stay made it really really thick you can see that i did the same thing on both parts or both pairs that would be applied or attached to both sleeves so you can see that that part is done and the upper part is done as well so what i'm going to do next is to impute that measurement for the lower sleeve which is 11 inches and 9 inches at the wrist and 11 inches at that upper part of that you know bottom sleeve so i'm just going to impute that measurement and sew it down so do note that i'll be sewing since my fabric is folded in two half i will not be marking 11 inches entirely i'll be dividing whatever measurement i'll be using by two that means at the top i'll be using 5.5 inches and at the bottom which is at the wrist i'll be using 4.5 inches okay so this is what it looks like after being sewn so this is one piece and that is the other piece you can see how neat and nice it looks 
So next up, I'll be attaching or I'll be sewing the baggy part of the sleeve from top to bottom on one side on the inner part along that depth of the armhole i'll be sewing it by half an inch and just closing it up so do note that i'm going to be folding the sleeve each sleeve into two and sew from the armhole top to the length of the sleeve so I haven't done that, this is what it looks like. Haven't done that, the next step would be to attach that puffy part of the sleeve or that wide part of the sleeve to the fitted part of the sleeve to create that baggy, puffy effect. So what I like to do is to turn the baggy part or that top part of the sleeve wrong side out. I'm just going to turn it wrong side out, then attach it to the lower part of the sleeve just see what i'm doing okay so what i like to do is i basically like to at, uh, align those side seams together i like to align the side seams on the lower part to that of the upper part just so it looks even and equal then i just pin it down and secure that with a pin and print all the excess fabric or all those puffy fabric i basically print it around that small part of the sleeve so when i print it should look something like this or it should look something like this and i'm just going to sew around that sleeve or around that part of the sleeve so i have sewn that down and you see it's already beginning to come to life we're already getting what we want okay so next up i'll be attaching this sleeve to the body of the main dress and to do this i like to start from the side of the armhole i just basically pin the side seams on the main fabric to that on the sleeve and i'm just using a pin to secure it down and I pin the entire sleeve to the entire armhole just to help me create a guideline or serve as a guideline for me. Okay, so I'm just going to pin all the way around. So I like to pleat the excess fabric to create that puffy effect at the top so it doesn't really look flat. What I did is I pleated or I started the pleats on either side of the shoulder 3 inches away from the shoulder. That means to the left I started 3 inches away from the shoulder and from the right I started 3 inches away from the shoulder. So I'm just going to sew that down and show you guys what it looks like. So after attaching the sleeves to the dress, this is how it turned out. It's elegant, it's beautiful, it's so gorgeous. Oh my god, I love, love this sleeve. If you have been following me on my channel, you know I love dramatic sleeves. I love when sleeves stand out. I really love both sleeves. So I decided to add those three little cute buttons on both sleeves just to give it a bit of detailing, you know, and to spice it up a bit. So yeah, guys, do leave a comment in the comment section so I can know your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you learned something and found this video helpful. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hmm. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? Subscribe, join the family, alright? So, until next time, peace and love. Bye, guys.